We're talking to Justin Biasio here about the Ragnar Garage. Is that correct? Ragnarok's Garage. Ragnarok. Why Ragnarok? So, Ragnarok's Garage is supposed to be, it, it's a change in the car community because the car community is somewhat fragmented. It's, it's just not as good as it could be. You know, people are, they go with their little segments, whether it's muscle cars, import cars, exotic cars, whatever it is. With Ragnarok, I was wanting to change that. So it doesn't matter what you drive. It's not necessarily a respect all builds. It's just respect the cars. Um, a lot of the people that are in Ragnarok, no, actually everybody's in Ragnarok, and in Ragnarok is just a good car person. It doesn't matter what their financial uh, status is. They just enjoy cars. They just love cars. Um, so Ragnarok is the the Norse or the the, the the apocalypse for like the from North mythology. So Ragnarok's garage is basically the end of the old car world, the beginning of the new one. So pretty clever. A little bit of meaning there. Uh huh. Um, then I like Vikings. Huh? <laughs> How many members do you have in, in the Ragnarok? In the Ra Ragnarok. Ragnarok. That's all right. It's, it's a tricky one. <laughs> so in in the groups we have a, we have a group and we have a club. And the group anybody's welcome to join. We welcome all kind of cars. Everybody gets welcome and introduced to the to the group. And in the group we have 950 ish people. And then in the club we have 65, 70 club members. So. Uh, so what? Well, what else do you guys do besides car things? You have barbecues get-togethers mm -hmm. so we don't just do car stuff I mean we have I mean we're here soon once the world stop it uh, we're gonna be having uh, days where we go out we do uh, like like range days go, go to the gun range because we got a lot of members are into retreat. shooting we do the members retreat um, where uh, last year I ran out of, rented out a, uh, a beach house for Like Vikings. Like Vikings. <laughs> you know, nobody went anywhere. You know, all the keys were all locked up and everything. Everybody just hung out and had a really good time. Uh -huh. uh, we do barbecues. We do meet and greets. We just we just go out and have them go do drives. We put together car shows. Uh, we do track days. Uh, teaming up with other like uh, Evergreen Speedway. We're teaming up with that. We do autocross events. How fun! <laughs> out there enjoying. Enjoying cars, enjoying the road, enjoying each other. And tell us about your car. Uh, this this 2016 R8 uh, is a V10. Not really a whole lot there to talk about it. Uh, How fast have you gotten it up to? Oh, man, that's, that's the most important thing. I, I, don't, I don't. I go the speed limit. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, tell us a few other examples of cars you have in your car club. What are the kinds you have? Well, actually, here we have uh, Paula's Ferrari. It's a 2014 458. She's one of our first members. Uh, she has this. Actually, she has this in a uh, McLaren 570S. Really? Yeah. Before she had the Ferrari, she had an, she had an R8. Um, she told me the color. It's a, a different name. It, it's not red. It's not rose. It's not. Uh, Ferrari red, but it's a really beautiful color. It's a very beautiful color. Pictures don't typically do it justice. Uh, we have a lot of Chargers. We have a lot of Challengers. We got a couple Demons. Um, we just had an RCF join. We have a little smart car that's in the club. We have uh, a couple Cappuccinos, the Suzuki Cappuccinos. They are imported from Japan. Uh, we have a couple of Skylines, a couple of GTRs, uh, a, lot, a few BMWs, M4s, M5s. Uh, we have a, a Corvette, a 2017 C7 that's, we're estimating over a thousand horsepower to the wheels. He was at 980 before he was spinning the dyno, so we even know for sure. Wow. Do you have a newsletter? Do, it's not necessarily a newsletter, but I have a pamphlet that kind of talks about, breaks down you know, what we do and what we're about and everything. How about a Facebook? We have a Facebook. Okay, okay. what is it? Ragnarok's Garage. Okay. Facebook. Okay, how do you spell Website. Ragnarok? Ragnarok is R A G. N A R O K S and then Garage. Ragnarok's Garage, okay. Ragnarok's and how about a uh, website? Same thing. Excellent. Yep. Justin, thanks so much. This has been fun. Hey, it's been fun coming out.
Okay, Justin, we're here at the One Up Lounge. Why did you pick this place? Actually, I didn't pick this place. What happened was my associate, Nancy, over here, uh, she's from the area. And so what she did is that she reached out to the community to see who would be interested in putting something like this on. It was actually one up who stepped up and said, hey, you know, we'll work with you. And from there, it kind of just snowballed. You know, we had other businesses, other restaurants that got involved. Uh, people from the city got involved. And you know, now we're looking at probably around, I mean, I haven't done a walk around, but we're looking right around like about at least 100 cars. Excellent. And what a good thing for the business and for you. You meet new people. Yeah, yeah, I'm all about meeting new people. You know, and especially when we can bring the community out, the car community out into you know, our local communities and you know, see if we can do about breathing some, some life back into the economy. Very important. Yeah, I mean, it's a tough time for a lot of people. Thanks so much, Justin. Hey, thank you.